The demand for good education has been one of the most important aspects globally. Higher education in Africa has been very rapid, with public and private universities increasingly offering a wide range of courses to cover the demand for the growing young population in Africa. Our network, an organization founded by Kenyan professionals based in Germany, has been focusing on identifying the dynamics being offered at universities in Africa and the collaborations which exist between Africa and Germany. Our aim is to build a sustainable academic career and entrepreneurship relationship between Africa and Germany by connecting universities, companies, and social communities in Germany with students and young professionals looking for opportunities in Germany or back in Africa. We visited Didan Kimathi University of Technology to discover what the university has to offer in terms of exchange programs and research opportunities in Africa, which opportunities and which collaborations exist between Germany and Kenya, and also to know more about the first Siemens Training Center in Africa located at Didan Kimathi University of Technology. Yeah, I am Dr. Jim Bosco, Zilingiro. I'm the director of the CMS Training Center. Uh, we started actually this CMS Training Center in 2016. We had an agreement with the CMS Germany. Uh, we trained many students. Currently, we are almost around 200 students. Our objective was to integrate this technology in remote education so that we have a student who can be able to multitask. That means we want a multidisciplinary student who has academia and who has also the professional. So we want a student graduating here can be able to register as a professional engineer and also join industry directly without doing any function. The current technology which we are working on, we are working on what is called digital team. Digital team more or less is the mechanical system and we have the, the Virtual, what we can call cyber, we integrated the mechanical system and the virtual so that somebody can be able to operate the machine either by using through the computer can see what the machine is doing and uh, with the physical it can also do what the machine can do but they have to see on a little time. Recently we have published uh, a good paper in the same area with the MPPI. The discussion we are trying to show how the area we want to tell people is how can we use the digital team in the Geogamo living technology. So we have used one of the stations to show uh, a new type of paper to show how we talk, how somebody can live, can, more, can deal with, can change the talk, look at the speed, look at the behavior of the tool when you are doing the reading of Geogamo because the dream of Geogamo is very expensive. And we try to make sure uh, people in the offices, if they are the managers, the decision makers, they can be able to see what is happening. So your information, the Geodamo drilling, the tool has to go at 3,000 meters under the underground. So the current technology existing for people to know the behavior of the tool is based on the digital approach where you see the talk, you see the speed, and you see the feature, then it can tell you the behavior of the tool. But that one needs an experience personnel who must, must be able to interpret the, the parameters. But this method, you want everybody, even if you are not very experienced, even if you are a manager from a school of business or a school or another school, you can be able to come and see what is happening in the field, not much to know uh, a lot of technology, but you can see what is happening as a movie on the digital. That is what we are doing. This is the current technology. Uh, our student in level three, they, are, they have we submitted the project to Germany to judge if the project we are doing is good enough. So far, when well, the German said the project is very good, and uh, actually they wanted to be using the first project for the teaching other trainers. So that is where we are today. We have a project to be in the neighborhood of Kenya. We wanted to start internship. We have a project to be the Kenya Sugar. We have a project to be our refineries in Menengai. So we are doing all those to make sure that industry are directly connected with the academy. Uh, my name is Nyaga. I'm a technical instructor at Siemens Training Center. 
At the moment, we are handling a group of students from Pausti for practicals on motor control. John Kibe, I work in the Catronic Club. I'm a registered graduate engineer. I did mechatronic as my undergraduate and I'm here instructing the students on the pneumatic and hydraulic systems and right now we are doing the electrical control and electrical control of pneumatic systems. Moses Kibetsa got. I'm an associate for Siemens. That means I'm done level two. Level two. Oh, currently we are doing a project with te Technomatics, a new software from Siemens. We are going to do a plant layout of this mechatronic system that is from station one to station seven and simulate it how it works from the pick and place up to the end of storage. I think that's all. Victoria Wangare, I study mechatronic engineering, I'm in my final year, and I am doing Siemens, it's of another institution, and I'm on my second level. Currently, I am doing a project to replicate the code that makes the station operate, so we're just doing a replicate of the program. Just Thank you. I am Andrew Kibor, I'm a final year student in mechatronics engineering in the Kimathi University, and also a level student with Siemens. Uh, for the level three over the last over the past year we've been working on digital twin technology and uh, we are improving it further by implementing we are exploring we are exploring it by even trying out some physical systems uh, in the future. Good afternoon my name is Nick Somitai I'm a Siemens level three student my project will be working on is working on the summer robotic arm creation of a digital twin what we intend to do with the digital twin is the optimization of such a model in a, in a digital environment. We take the, this in our case, we took the structures it was, we took the measurements, we drew it in on a card, on a card program, and then we celebrated it so that we achieve the functions of this model. Also in industry what can be done is that you can design your, you can do all your designs on a card model and then you transfer them onto a linking software, then it which is then which then enables you to whatever product you want to do. The advantages of a digital twin are that it's faster it's faster time from customer from the time of the conceptualization of the idea up to the realization of the idea and it is much better to monitor whatever kind of project you're doing remotely wherever you are through which whichever device. Thank you very much. The University of and Kemati University has also been collaborating with universities in Africa, giving young engineers an exposure to do practicals in automation at the Siemens Training Center at Dekut. The Pan-African University is the cornerstone of efforts of the African um, Michael Mike Jandavitsan. I'm doing a, a master in mechatronic engineering in Baosti. I'm from Congo Brazzaville and I'm here to do a practical uh, in Siemens, we have in Siemens, so <laughs> to, to know how, how so a, a PLC work. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, I'm Koyochi Denis from Kenya. I'm a student from Fausti, taking a Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering. And we are here to do a practical exercise on uh, manufacturing automation at the Siemens Training Center. Uh, my name is Mashawa Justin. I'm from Zimbabwe. Uh, I'm also doing uh, mechanical engineering. I'm here to do a uh, practical here at uh, Kimati at Siemens Training Center uh, with my professor, Dr. Bringiro. Thank you. I'm Lohumi Tonji. I'm coming from Nairobi uh, Coast. Um, study mechanical master, MST in mechanical engineering. I'm here to, to do a research for automation. Okay, my name is Joseph Matoni, the team leader from the Um uh, I've brought them the students to appreciate uh, the BLC and the CMS. 
Kuzanai Segerere. I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm studying for a Master's of Science in Mechatronic Engineering at uh, Pausti in Kenya. And uh, we are here to do a practical in uh, pneumatic control, motor control, and uh, PLCs. Oh, you are next. You have talked. Oh, you are the one now. <laughs> you look shy. No, you look shy. Okay. Mm. Hello, my name is uh, Jallo Cherno Hamidu. I'm from Guinea, Guinea Conakry. And I'm doing my master's in mechanical engineering at Pausti in Kenya. And uh, we are here in CMS in the University of Kimati for some practices. We are um, with pneumatic instrumentation module and uh, uh, we are discovering motor control systems and uh, the PLC. Thank you. My name is James Gundi. I'm doing a master's in mechatronic engineering at Fausti. We come from Kenya. We are here doing uh, practicals in pneumatics, hydraulics, and motor controls, as well as PLCs. I'm Clevan Tanzumuire from Rwanda. I'm a student at the Fausti uh, for a master's of uh, mechatronic engineering. I'm uh, here at uh, uh, Semen's training center uh, for uh, practical on uh, normative uh, estimation and instrumentation module and uh, uh, hydraulic systems as well, even PLCs. Thank you. I am Gaurav Skipaules from Ethiopia. I am studying the lab, Masters of Mechatronics Engineering in Pausti. Uh, we come here for laboratory experiment for practical. Research in Africa has also been our core agenda to identify which opportunities are available for young scientists in the continent. With the establishment of the Siemens Training Center at Dedan Kimathi University of Technology, there has been a strong focus on engineering courses such as mechatronics, mechanical, electrical, electrical and electronic engineering from Bachelor of Science up to PhD programs. With automation and the implementation of Industry 4.0, we were keen to know what the university is offering and what academia would be interested to work at Didan Kemadi University of Technology. Uh, so my name is Rehama Denda. Uh, I am a computational engineer, but my background is mechatronic engineering. Uh, I am here at Dedan Kimathi University, specifically teaching students in Masters of Science in Mechatronic Engineering. Uh, what I am teaching them specifically is about simulations and modeling of uh, mechatronic systems. Uh, the focus of this course specifically is um, systems where you are unable, you need to conceptualize a system, you need to design a, a system and you want uh, initially to have an initial guess as to what that system will be able to do. So that's my, my focus in Dead and Kimathi. Now, um, Dead and Kimathi is a good institution in terms of, of research because they have focused specifically in providing the practical aspects of research that we miss elsewhere. They have also focused on making sure that the expertise that is required for research is brought um, is brought closer home and therefore we are able to do research which we thought was not possible uh, in, in Africa at home in Kenya uh, and we're able to appreciate also the research that is happening elsewhere so we're also able to share in terms of uh, what we are doing and what else can be done and what is possible uh, in terms of research in Africa Dead and Kimathi has done exceptionally well uh, because uh, we, ha we are able to connect, especially in terms of the advanced mechatronic and manufacturing uh, labs that they are bringing across. So we are able to connect and do actual practicals remotely with other countries and we are able to share our data and so on. So um, research being the backbone of Africa, 
uh, and growing and industrialized in Africa, yes, we are starting to do it here in Kenya and we believe that we're going to grow it further and further as we go along. I'm a staff, a teacher and a fellow and a research assistant at uh, Daniel Kumadi University, Department of Mechatronic Engineering. Uh, I joined this university, that is Daniel Kumadi, in 2009. I joined Bachelors of Science Mechatronic Engineering and later proceeded to Masters in Advanced Manufacturing and Automation. And the key word here is automation, that is uh, an area of interest. Um, it's an interesting area that each and every individual who is in uh, engineering should embrace. Recently I've been to involved in several activities, including attending uh, conferences all over the world, including Germany. And recently I attended um, a conference on Industry, industry 4.0, whereby I uh, with my professor, Dr. Jim Bosco, who has also an interest in uh, setting up such such a lab here in, uh, in Dedan Kimbath University. This is a very important area because this is um, where countries in Africa, universities in Africa, and this is where the, the modern research is heading to. And this is to help um, in countries, big four agendas, the countries, um, main one being manufacturing, and therefore um, I would encourage a challenged person in technical engineering to join and uh, to take an, an interest. I'm also doing a research, my PhD, and uh, my research is also going to be in the area of automation and uh, specifically in Industry 4.0.